Rise and shine, Chippy. It's time for the Intel Morning Show. Okay, repeat after me. Please welcome, please welcome, Alex, the tech evangelist for Intel. Alex, the blah, 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 blah for Intel. Roby Tech. Roby Tech. And the overlord and the glue that holds this entire program together. Me? I was thinking Sarah. Oh. Broadcasting live and worldwide on Twitch and Discord. Ro this is the Intel Morning Show. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Intel Morning in Hawaii show. I think that's I think that should be the new official name. Sarah, can we can we just unlock that the Intel Morning in Hawaii show? Can we just lock that down? Is that okay, or do we have to do a new name? I was I was thinking we just simplify it a little bit. What if we just went Intel Live? Oh, I like oh, that. Oh, that's like that. nice. Then no matter, <laughs> then no matter what time, it is the right time to always join this crazy group. <laughs> it's always a good time. Yeah, it's always a good time to join it. Anyway, guys, welcome to Intel Live. Uh, I am your host, Justin Roby. I am here live with Alex. Um, or Alejandro, who is the blah, 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 something or something over at Intel. And then I'm also joined by Sarah, our overlord. Um, and I'm sorry you guys missed a week, but we have a really good show. In fact, we've changed it all up. We've made it all different. It's all, it's, you know what, honestly, we've been looking over the past, uh, you know, X number of months of content. And, you know, we as we kind of thought about it and looked at it, we were like, you know what, we're gonna just change it up and make it more about the things that you guys seem to care about. So less news, more tech, more cases, more more uh, dive in, and then of course more uh, game exclusive content as well. So I think I think it's a good thing, right, Sarah? We like to listen to the community. That's the point, yeah. Exactly. We went back and we looked at what you guys really resonated with, and we think we've got a great show. So you're gonna have to let us know how we did in making these changes. Exactly. And Alex, what do you think of the new format? You excited as I am? I am very excited. I think it was be pretty cool, but I also want to let you guys, we're also always open for feedback. So just let us know so we can make, because this show is for you. So the more interesting we can make it for you, the better. So yeah, we're always open for suggestions, but let's, let's see if you guys like this new, I mean, this yep. new approach. And don't worry, Alex is still going to be doing cosplay. We know that that is a core tenant of uh, Intel Live. So don't worry, he's still going to be doing it. He's still going to be doing his cosplay as we get to the gaming section. But the first half of the show, we're going to do a little bit of news. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go right into stuff you care about. So we're going to talk about things today. We're going to talk about the brand new case from Lee and Lee, the Owen one vision, talk to you about a 14700K build that we put inside of it, go over case interview, talk about thermals, talk about that sort of thing. Then honestly, we have a really, really rad uh, new of uh, like one of my favorite PC builds ever. Um, if you're looking at a pre-built PC, the frag box from Falcon Northwest, we have the 14900K version right here that we're gonna be showing off here, showing you inside the build, talking about Falcon Northwest. In fact, more than likely, we will have Kelt, uh, who is the president of Falcon Northwest in the chat as well. So you guys are gonna see that. And then afterwards, we're gonna talk a little bit about the game awards, because I'm gonna be going next week. And then from there, we're gonna play some Hitman. Apparently they've added a new challenge and we could not Alex looks so much like Agent 47. How could we not play this game? <laughs> I mean, dude, I mean, look at like, literally, I think they used Alex for Agent 47. Uh, um, Sarah, can you confirm that this is true? Like, did, is this why this whole thing came, came forward? <laughs> uh, you know, the problem is we cannot confirm or deny. You know, we do always like to make cosplay a little easy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's all about now somebody said somebody asked is there do something you behind talk you to chat? do we talk to chat alex do we talk to chat i talk to chat a lot actually yeah. i think i spend the majority of the time talking yeah. to the chat we <laughs> absolutely talk to chat you will absolutely hear from us we will be absolutely be talking to chat so do not worry we'll be looking at your questions guys this is an interactive show and it's all about pulling things in i can see all the chats sarah can see all the chats uh, Bill can see all the chats. Who's Bill? <laughs> That's a mystery. It's new. Uh, it's it's. Uh, I'm just kidding. There is no Bill. Now, I gotta worry. Yeah. I gotta be. I gotta be curious, careful about this audience <laughs> who starts looking for clues and everything. Everywhere. So, and well, everywhere. The, we're we're done with the clues, right? Yeah, we're, we're done with the clues, the clues, right, Sarah? Yeah. <laughs> 
Sarah's actually like she's just Sarah just is gone. She's like I've left. Like the show is off the rails already and all that sort of stuff. But super excited to have you guys here today. It's going to be a good show. And then again, if you guys see things like we're really going to be staying on the forefront of new cases, new AIOs, new technology and showing you guys stuff of that stuff live as well as builds, etc. and all that jazz as well. So it should be good. But we want to kick things off just going to go through a little bit of news real quick, like a minimum two stories. Uh, kicking it off with... Oh, which one do you want to start with? I'm going to start with this one, but I changed all my buttons, guys. So now I can figure <laughs> out. I changed all my nope. buttons. And Pressing now all my buttons now. All my, oh, Press. it's right here. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we're going to start yeah, with... Yeah. Um, just a really, really interesting quick thing um, where PC Gamer kind of came out with a thing that says, hey, here are 25 of the most wanted games revealed at the PC Game Show. But you know what? I, you know what? We're just going to look real quick. Here we go. Let's just look. Is it on here? Nope. This list is uh, Which one? Which one are you looking for? I'm looking for Grand Theft Auto, which we have the It trailer. is. It is. It is. It is in there. It okay, is in there. Good. It's okay. number 13. I was, I was too fast. Number 13. Guys, trailer, December 5th. Right? Did any who who anybody see the news? Who is excited about watching GTA, like the new trailer for Grand Theft Auto? So very very excited about that. But 25 most wanted games. Alex, I didn't read this at all, but I'm hoping you did. What were the ones that you were excited about? I'm not lying. I'm just I'm here to, I'm no, here to have a good no. time. So it's it's a little sad for my part because I was looking through the list and I was like, uh, I don't know it, I don't know it, I don't know it. So I know there's a Star Wars Outlaw. So I'm really looking out for that one. Yes. I'm a little bit of Star Wars buff. There it is, number 20. Uh, yeah, uh, G, uh, GT, GTA, oh my god, six. Grand Theft Auto 6, uh, and Elden Ring, Shadow okay. of the Urge Tree, and uh, all the other ones I was like, I, I, I oh, have Okay, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing a couple on here, we're, and again, we're just going to spend a little bit of time on this, but I, I'd love to, guys, take a look at the list. Uh, I'm agreeing with you, Star Wars Outlaws for sure, Grand Theft Auto 6, duh. Homeworld 3, so Homeworld, hopefully a game we'll actually get to check out here on the show. Absolutely amazing game. It's a 3D space RTS game. I don't know if you haven't ch had a chance to play it. It's fantastic. Oh. Uh, they actually have a mobile game that just came out around Homeworld, so we're very, very excited about that. Marathon, which is Bungie's OG. It is the game that started Bungie, so it looks like they're released. Late. They're they're remaking the game. So Marathon, pretty excited about that. Path of Exile 2. It's like the competitor to uh, to um, uh, Diablo 4. So it's like say a bunch of Diablo people got away and said you got away from the core of Diablo. So then they went off and they did Path of Exile 2. I don't know if you, have you is this one for you, Lex? Have you looked much into this one? Path of Exile? No, but I used to. I remember I play quite a bit Path of Exile. Like I finish it one time, and I know people just keep repeating over and over and over. But I did it one time, and then I was gonna do it again. But I I I saw a squirrel outside, and I kind of lost track. And then the top three, which, I mean, again, I think GTA 6 should be in the top three, but Hades 2, which, I, guys, just so you guys know, Alex got a Steam Deck, so if you've not, this is a great game. Hades, which just came out, it was a, it was a roguelike, fan-freaking-tastic game. You should definitely check it out, Alex, for the Steam Deck, but Hades 2, which is an amazing game. Uh, Elden Ring, obviously, the uh, Shadow of the Ender, the Erd Tree, which is their new expansion. And then finally, Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. So I got to say, list isn't bad. It list isn't bad. I, I feel like GTA 6 should be way, way up on the list because I think everybody's excited about it. Did, I don't know if you just look at the tweet. It was like 147,000 views in like the first 30 minutes, right? So like Holy that's... Smokes. That's going to be crazy. Yes, he did get the OLED deck. Yes, that is the one that uh, he is like, he's like, we're not going to make fun of him anymore. Congratulations today. <laughs> we can crown. If I had, here we go. Alex, go ahead and kneel, and we're going to do this virtually. We're going to virtually knight Alex on the show. Here we go, sir. Today, we dub thee a gamer, and I did it with a lightsaber. So there we go. Congratulations, yes. sir. Thank you. Thank you. No, not only that, but I actually got my Civilization Six badge for the challenge. Yeah. Yes. And that was, okay, so I, I have to say, guys, <laughs> uh, uh, huge shout out to the entire community for all that stuff, for getting in, getting your challenge done and stuff like that. It was really exciting to see. You know whose name I didn't see on there, though, Alex? Whose name did I not see? Starts with an S, S, ends with 
Era. R- rhymes with era. Era. Where's Sarah's <laughs> name on this? Can I get can I get an amen, guys? Can we get can we get a where is Sarah? She is the overlord. I bet you Sarah's sweating right now because she had no idea I was gonna call her out. Hey Sarah, you there? <laughs> we lost her. Did I mute her again? Did we mute her? Did something happen? <laughs> Can Go, you hear her? Oh, she is. No. no, I muted her again. Sarah, you've been we've been talking this whole time. Okay, you're back. Sarah, are you there? Are you kidding? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll take the rubbing. I am behind. You guys both have your badge. Okay, okay. Okay. I okay, got gotcha. you. So, so this I, is it, guys. I, Next week, Sarah has to have her. It's December. What's the end date, Matt? Matt knows. 12th. It's December 12th. 12th. So you have 11 days, Sarah. And it is it is not a short challenge, is it, Alex? No. It, does, it, takes, no. <laughs> it took me 495 turns. And it was a little longer than expected. Okay. okay, so if Sarah gets it, if Sarah gets it, guys, because it's the holiday season, as soon as Sarah gives her, uh, as soon as Sarah gets her challenge, I will be donating a hundred dollars uh, to uh, Toys for Tots. So again, it's the holiday season. I feel like that's a good one, just to help incentivize, incentivize Sarah to get it out there, and then we'll do something awesome for, uh, we'll do something awesome for charity. So, uh, and this is always, you know, anything that we can do to help Sarah play more games, Alex feels like a win am i right we should not only sarah everybody else but it's definitely a win so it's it's, a, it's an interesting challenge i i played civilizations i hadn't played civ 6 so this was a like a <laughs> trial by fire learning a lot of things like oh you got policies oh this is new oh this is different it's like yeah. yeah so it was it was it was really cool it was like you said one more one more turn yep to and it was yeah it was fun it was fun okay so continuing on our news we had another super interesting thing. This is the ultimate budget build. Wait. Well, sorry, Sarah said, wait, hold on. Oh. Okay. Oh, hold on. So we we dropped it into chat, but I'm gonna ask the Intel bot to drop it again. So that uh, PC gaming show, there's actually something really cool if you oh, go right. in and you read that article because you don't wanna miss out on an opportunity. It is only live for like four days, but guys, there's a survey in there. And I started digging around it when do you guys remember that assassin's creed awesome mod build that, that uh, Blue Horse yes. did? you get to win that so make sure you go in there click into the article read all about the, the gaming show powered by intel and then get your chance to win that pc mod so don't miss out okay thank you very much now i forgot about on. that yeah we definitely want to make sure that uh, we definitely want to make sure that your that uh that is epi- you know that we really kind of push that in there so yes guys please go vote and all that sort of stuff uh bbh Aaron, i did up him already and we're good to go um we want to talk about the ultimate budget build guys but i'm not entirely sure if this is actually budget but this was actually a really cool video that came out from pcmr and somebody said how to build a pc but they did it all in lego and this is that impressive was... yes sorry Robbie. go ahead <laughs> no, 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 you're not wrong. Like, look, check this out. This video, it's not very long. It's a minute long. Uh, and I make everything from like, oh, except for like, he broke the, he broke the, uh, he broke the, he broke the, the socket the, already. The I, yeah, the I. But look at that. I mean, it was very it's well done. It's really good. So, yeah, I mean, you should definitely go and check it out. Uh, like, and I'm, I'm, I'd like to get to the rating for it. I'm curious when you really, ooh, it's a 69 terabyte NVMe drive. But I'm curious when you really think about it, if you put all the Lego pieces together, because Lego is expensive, like, yes. is this actually a budget build? I mean, that's the real question, right? It, uh, well, he has the, the, oh my God, the fan that comes with the processor. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is a budget cool. build until the, until the RTX shows up. <laughs> Because he only has, you see, he only wow. populated one, one RAM, RAM, one, one stick of RAM, one DIM. It's like, that's yeah, why it's, a, it's blue screen. That's why, that's why blue screen. It's blue screen right there. That's exactly why it actually ended up blue screening. So there it is, guys. Okay, um, last bit of news um, that we're going to jump in through, and then we're going to go in and we're going to show off some really, really cool hardware. Um, and this has to do with the really, really cool hardware um, is right here, guys, that um, Falcon Northwest's frag box review uh, which is a portable powerhouse PC, ended up being PC World's uh, PC of the year. Um, and uh, I have been, lu- I was lucky enough, and huge shout out to uh, the team over at Falcon Northwest for actually us to actually get a hold of one of these and show them off here in the show, guys. Um, very, very impressive piece of hardware. And like I said, if you guys have questions, 
Uh, head over to twitch.tv slash Robitech. I don't know if he's an Intel or I think he's a Robitech. If you want to ask questions about the frag box, we have Kelt from Falcon Northwest, the president, actually in chat to check this out. So you guys, get ready. I want you guys to get ready to have your minds blown. Alex, is your, is your, is your mind ready to be blown? Yes, it is, actually. I love this. Go, go for it. Yeah, okay, so he's he's ready. Everybody else is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it right here. Here is, and I mean, the thing that's so crazy about it is how small it is. So I'm gonna put this off the side and I'm gonna show you. Here is the Falcon Northwest frag box. This is it right here. So this inside of this is an RTX, four, uh, sorry, a uh, Intel Core i9 14900K. And then we have a uh, PNY RTX uh, 4090. And no, it's not a giveaway. Guys, this is my toy. You guys can take all my toys. I give away a lot of stuff, but don't take away all of my stuff. So this is the Falcon Northwest. We, I want to show it off a little bit. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about Cinebenches and all that sort of stuff because it's really impressive what they were able to fit in such a small package. So uh, here it is right here. Uh, taking a look at it, I'm going to bring over my my side camera and bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can do that. And then we also have the roaming cam, which is brand new. So you guys can see things even a little bit more clear as we get in there. So there is the whole thing right there. So first and foremost, the materials on this thing uh, are absolutely crazy. So I want you, I want you, I want you to just hear this here. Listen, I mean, it's like solid steel construction. The other thing too that's absolutely crazy about this thing is that um, if you guys wanna know companies that use this, the, the, the US military, the army, Apache helicopters, they offload all their nav data off onto frag boxes, which I mean, takes a whole nother name, a whole nother level to the name frag box. Also gaming companies like Epic, um, and a lot of these use these for developers who travel on the go, do game demonstrations because of just how much power they can fit in such a small piece of hardware, um, or a small piece of small enclosure. In terms of opening it up like this, you can see, Everything here is just captive screws, which is actually really, really nice. So we'll go ahead and pop it all out. And then I'm looking at stuff. If you guys have questions or uh, you know things you want to have answered, just let us know, and we'll 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 answer those as we get inside. And we'll we'll guys show you guys some thermals as well. We got benchmarks and all that stuff at the same time. So just popping this off, the sides are just. I mean, like you guys, so these are like great material. What's up, Alex? Robbie. One of the questions is like, does the handle flatten at all for shipping? You I think can it's just remove the handle. Okay. So the handle is right. removable. Now, Falcon doesn't, rec and I, th I know that he is here inside of, uh, he's here in the chat. They don't recommend stacking them. So if like you wanted to go build like a tower of frag boxes, that's kind of one of the things for the handle is not only that is it easy to carry around at like lands and stuff like that, but also just to make sure that you don't stack because there is the way the cooling works is air comes in and then blows out. So you would literally be blowing air into your other Falcon Northwest Tiki, right? So it's just more also to, it's there's, there's a functional purpose in terms of please don't stick stuff on top of it. And I can show you, here you go. So so this guy is part of a, of a lineup, right? So this, so the the whole family is the Tiki, the Frag. Uh, let me go check the, the other Talon. ones. Oh, yep. The Talon. There we go. It's, it's a really nice family. Server based one, yeah. But you can actually see it's just screws on the top that allow you to remove. You can actually remove this and make it flat if you really wanted to, and you didn't want the handle. So, and yeah. then for all of the side panels, I was showing you that as well. But you can actually see as well is that you can see that it's magnetic. So you can see these magnetic, so it's magnetics here. So you get really, really thin dust filters. The thing about thin dust filters is it does a better job of letting air through while keeping dust. So this is better for um, thermals and then keeping things clean, which is nice. So it, it is not, the one thing I will say guys is something about Falcon Northwest is that all of their chassis, unlike when you look at any other pre-built company, you name it, all of their chassis, etc., are custom designed and they go through a ton of iteration to figure out how they're gonna build these things. So the cases themselves are actually fairly expensive. So when you look at the, the components, you might be like, I'll go look at a Falcon Northwest Tiki and it might be four or $5,000. Some, you can do upwards of six to $8,000. But so much of that is because of the development of the actual chassis itself and all of the cooling and things. They also have custom fans as well that they order from a company over in Germany. You guys will get to see those here in a minute. Um, but uh, you know, it's just, there's a lot of engineering that goes into this that is very different than any other pre-built company. So, <clears throat> okay. 
and then popping no. off the other side too. What's up, Alex? I hear. I hear yeah, I was gonna say like, yeah, yeah. I mean, you. I mean, you gave us the configuration for this system, but it's actually you can actually go to the website and configure it your own. You can go from an i5 to an i9, like we said. Also, different types of video cards from you know if you just want the RTX from gaming, or you also have your professional ones. Depending on what your usage is, I mean, they have it right there in the configuration, and it's really yeah. nice. And actually, uh, Fallenberger brought a, a good uh, a good point, which was is like, oh, that's great for for people who travel. It's like, yeah, for like for example, for Roby and I who travel a lot, and so from time to time we have to like stream live from rem remotely. This is a great uh, option uh, to do that. So, just want to show you some of the cool engineering stuff here, Alex. And you're absolutely right. You can configure this any way you want. First and foremost, you actually see they actually have these super thin fans here that they use for, um, oh yeah, so you can see these super thin fans that directly blow air into the GPU. And here we have the PNY RTX 4090, so you can actually see that, that spot from there. It's a 280 millimeter AIO, but these are actually custom fans that you can't order. It's from a company in Germany. I forgot the name of it, Kelt, if you could help me, but you can actually see them here. Uh, there they are right there, they're PC coolers. So these these are custom fans right here. Oh, and nice. It's giving you a great view of inside. Look at how tidy, like the whole thing really, really is. You know what I mean? It's just, it's very, very tidy, very, very well kept. I mean, like everything from cable management, zip ties. I mean, it almost rivals a Roby Tech uh, PC build. <laughs> I know Kelt's getting really mad at that right there, so. That's uh, also, sorry, Robbie, for interrupting. That's also a full ATX motherboard, right? It is, it is a, uh, it's a micro ATX, not a micro ATX. ATX. Yeah, it's a okay, micro ATX. ATX. We got DDR5 ran from Kingston in there, and then we have our 14900K, and then they have a, their, their cooler head, you can see it just a little bit in there, the cooler that they actually use in that thing, absolutely crazy, guys. It, fill, it covers the entire IHS, and it, it's what makes the 280 millimeter AIO so, um, so effective in this case. So we'll turn it on because the other thing too is when we get it under load and stuff like that, you will be super impressed at how quiet this thing is as well. So hopefully you guys feel like you got a good tour there with our new roaming camera. Um, I didn't, I didn't make you a motion six, did I, Sarah? The, no, you're good. The, I mean, the cameraman, I, I, you know. I like the oh. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this back in and then we'll show you guys, we'll get it turned on and show you guys some some uh, some thermals and benchmarks and all that sort of stuff too. Uh, like I said, and then if you guys have questions, Kelt's actually in chat if you wanna ask questions. Santa and actually, Easter are real. That is absolutely That's true. That's a... Um, custom like a uh, uh, northwest custom aio yes yes it is it is a custom aio and then they work with so for instance this is actually a really cool story because they got over a hundred thousand on a cinebench using your guys's new xeon processor and they had a cust they worked with i think it was asatech it wasn't asatech it was enermax who was it kelp that they worked with a cust with them to make a custom uh, pump and thing for your enterprise CPU, and then they got a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand uh, on Cinebench using this uh, with a, that and a forty ninety. So wow. I, I love like they're a lot of fun guys. They they're like the they're like Kelt's like the friend you want to have who gets to play with all the cool fun big tech toys because he lets you uh, he lets you go and uh, go crazy. Oh Silverstone, that's right. It was for Silverstone who did the custom cooler for Xeon. Does it, does it come in white or or as long as you like it in black, just like the T-Model? So you know? uh, the one thing I will say, and I can show you guys uh, an example right back here, but there you can do custom UV printing on their Falcon Northwest on their actual frag boxes, which can look really, really cool. Um, and so uh, so you do have some of that, uh, but it, you, I don't think it's available in white. I think it's just I think it's just black. Uh, and then, of course, we have uh, we have Kelt in the channel to to let you know if that's if I'm wrong or not. Okay. So and we're gonna yeah, turn you, this over. Good. You said it, that that was an SFX like small form factor uh, power supply, right? In there for a thousand watts, I think I yeah, it's saw. a thousand watt Silverstone SFX yeah. L PSU. Oh, which power. is which is really good. So let's pop it in because I mean that's what you guys really want to see is you guys want to see. How does this thing perform? And then the best thing about it, I mean, you still have access because it's a 14900K. So Alex, while I'm getting this booted up, why don't you talk about the uh, the brand new 14th gen 14900K? Yeah, so the 14900K, it's it's new. No, I mean, the whole 14 Intel generation, it's new, but the one that is 
to me one of the interesting ones of the whole family they're all interesting is the uh, core i7 in there because for this guy we have added uh four more core e-cores to be precise more uh, four more efficient cores in there and we also have crank out the frequency also the reason we should we've been able to crank out the frequency is because uh we have a more mature process what that means is we're getting better and making them so we can actually push the limits because we usually build these processors without built-in carbon right because we've got to make sure that they only perform at those frequencies but they also perform for a certain amount of time but as we learn and understand more this new way to fabricate because uh, fabricate the processors because every time it's new uh we can actually start cranking up the you know the speed of the, the frequency so so this guy's pretty neat because i think we went up uh let me go check here my numbers yeah we went up uh 200 me 200 megahertz on turbo and we not only that but we also increased uh we went from eight e cores to 12 e cores so that means that your multi-thread workloads uh, you're definitely going to have a big boost when it comes to that. So your single yeah. thread with the frequency and your multi-thread with the extra e cores. So again, at, and then again, I did turn it on. I don't know if you guys heard this, but let me just show you. So this is it on idle. So I'll, I'll give you guys, we'll give you guys here. We'll zoom in so you guys can see ambient room. I've got too many things on my desk here, but let's go to here side. So here's a side camera. And so this is just root, like if you're looking at room noise, Nice. Now I'm going to put it right next to the Falcon. Like it's just, it's quiet. Like it doesn't. Yeah, it is really quiet. It is really quiet. Now the best thing is you're like, Roby, that's great. Idle. <laughs> Let me just do this. <laughs> I'm going to throw a Cinebench on here. So I'm gonna, I'm just to prove that you guys can see, we'll go to news no, here. Don't, don't, don't throw it, just run it. I'm mean, here it is, I'm no. not gonna, I'm just showing you guys that it is actually running. So here we have Cinebench. I'm gonna hit start on a 10 minute test and I'm just gonna put the, uh, the thing next to it. Here we go, ready? Man, that's quiet. So it went up two decibels and it is currently running a, a test right there. So, and then just to, just to say, like, you just want to know how powerful is this thing here to check it out. The first run, the first run was uh, 38,948 points. So again, wow. 38,000 points on this one. Now we have with the 14th, with the, with the 14th gen version of this, the way that this is set up was basically optimized for thermals. So we do have it set for Intel settings. So it's basically, it, it does like in terms of, there are some settings within the BIOS to make sure that the ASUS motherboard isn't running away with it, but you absolutely have headroom to go ahead and, and play with this if you wanted to. Now you guys might be saying like, Roby, well, what's, what's our temps at? Pop that up right here. While this is running, you know the other the, the other thing, interesting thing is like right, you're running all the you're doing multi-thread, right? Yep. Multi -thread, you're running. It's running at 95 inside of this with a 280 millimeter AIO inside of this very small enclosure. That is awesome. That's all I have to say. Freaking. That that's why it's the piece. That's why it is the PC of the year. I'm just saying it's it's so amazing. Uh, in terms of what they've been able to do with engineering. Sorry, go ahead, Alex. Oh, no, no, no. I was I was reading one of the uh, Vipidus questions, like, why aren't all computers this performance and this form factor? And I was trying to come up with some witty answer, but it got me off guard. <laughs> yeah, it is. Long story long, it is very impressive and it's amazing. As you can see, there's a lot of thought and engineering, like you said before, behind it. It's not just like, oh, we're going to put this all these pieces together. There is some thought and there's some engineering to, to be able to reach not only this performance, but also to keep it that quiet, uh, which is amazing. I really, it's pretty cool. And understand guys, I am here on stream. It is currently still running Cinebench and you guys, you, you can't hear it. It's that's, that's the thing that's so crazy. Now the way thermals do work is it pulls air from the sides and then it blows up and out, which is why you don't want to stack things on top of it because that would be bad for thermals. But it's just something that's actually just really cool about the Falcon Northwest Tiki. If you guys want to check it out, uh, you should head over to falconnorthwest.com. They have the Tiki, which, you know, if you guys want to see it, you want to see something even smaller. That performs as well. 
that performs, or, yeah. This one's- this Yeah, pretty is, close to it. Yeah, this is the Tiki. So this is the, this is the baby. We have the Tiki, the frag box, and then back here on the left is the Talon. The Talon. Um, and so we have all three of the ones from here. But again, all of these different ones, check them out, falconnorthwest.com. Uh, if you guys have some additional ca questions, Kelt might stick around for a little bit afterwards. But we definitely want to spend some time just showing you uh, an incredibly awesome pre-built. These guys, I, I just, I, I have to, I have to give one other thing and then we'll jump over to the O11 Vision here in a minute. But they are essentially the birth of the gaming PC. They were the first ones to ever do a gaming focused PC. And in a lot of ways, whether you talk to Kevin Wazalowski at Origin, uh, you can talk to uh, the folks over at Main Gear, you name it. This is Falcon Northwest was the OG when it came to actually building it. And, and I will tell you, follow Falcon Northwest on, on Twitter because been, Kelt's been posting a lot of like 80s and 90s and two, early 2000 tech reviews from like tech TV and stuff like that. So it's very nostalgic. It's actually pretty funny. So they were asking if there are any type of cases like this uh, for DIY. Yes, there are some that are similar. There isn't something that is exactly like the frag box. I think the closest ones you could look at was the NR200P from Cooler Master. That might be a good option. The Fractal, um, the Fractal, um, oh my gosh, the Terra uh, would be mm -hmm. another one that would be close. Yeah, the Terra, I remember uh, that. And then uh, in terms of, the, actually Thermaltake and Corsair used to make boxes that were similar to this. They're actually a little bit bigger that also have handles. Uh, <laughs> but um, it, all in all, very, very impressive to, uh, to uh, in terms of in terms of doing it, being able to do this from a DIY. Unfortunately, Falcon doesn't sell their chassis in, chassis independently, so you'd have to find something very really close, and that's kind of the close you could kind of get to that. I mean, that's the family that's the family your uh, secret recipe right there. That's part of the family secret recipe. Yeah, so. it's like the bush baked beans, right? This is the you yeah know, bush baked beans. <laughs> theirs is don't tell people about our our amazing our amazing PC and all that sort of stuff. Any other questions, guys, from uh, either one of the chats? Do we, is there anything else you guys wanna know? If not, we'll jump over to, uh, we'll jump over and start talking about uh, our case in the 14700K today. Yeah, you roll that beautiful bean footage. Thank you. <laughs> I, like, I love how he goes in there. Anything else that you guys wanna know about the, uh, anything else you guys wanna know about the Falcon Northwest? Fragbox at Knox, we'll start talking about uh, new cases from Lee and Lee, so. Um, hi for all. Okay, awesome. Well, then we'll... Oh, did you mention the leader size of the case? So I don't know. I don't know if that's something Kelt knows off the top of his head. How many liters? Uh, somebody says eight. So it might be eight. I think, I think, no, I think it's a little bit bigger than eight because a, a nuck is eight. Okay. Like the Raptor nuck is eight. So probably a little bit bigger than that. All right. So yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll get the answer to that question. I'm going to shut this down and get ready to, to talk about um, the uh, the next awesomest thing in here. It's still running Cinebench. Just so you guys know, it's sitting at uh, 37,000 points and still still going. So still still just trucking along as quiet as ever. But yeah, they're very, very, very cool. And there's a whole bunch of history and stuff on their website if you want to check it out. Um, yeah, uh, Roby. Yeah, what's up? So Dooms uh, was very nice and he went and checked is uh, 1,472 cubic inches at the website. That seems really big. Is that? <laughs> is that in moon tons? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, one, oh, 24 liters. 24 that, liters. Yeah, yeah, that's a big boy. Yeah, because I knew the nugs are eight liter ones and that's a lot, I mean, it's a lot of smaller than that. Like the Tiki, the Tiki is probably 10 liters. I don't know, I could be corrected, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a punch. I mean, it definitely brings a punch, but it's still, I think it's still, I mean, it's portable. I will, I will, I will take that with me places, definitely. Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, well let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. That's the Falcon Northwest Tiki. Huge shout out to Falcon uh, for popping in, being here for chat, and letting us show it off. Um, if you guys, like I said, head over to Falcon Northwest, you can check out uh, more about this amazing uh, device. Uh, and then on tarps of like, if you really want, like, if you were thinking about doing like DreamHack Atlanta or something like that, <laughs> this would be the perfect like device to basically just pack up in a pelican and, tr and travel with and no alex you can't have mine that's it's mine why are you stop. always limiting me man why are you trying to well, stop trying to steal my stuff you know what i'm saying i tried this this past tuesday but you ran too fast <laughs> <laughs> okay next up on the list guys and again trying to trying to uh trying to uh so we're gonna do do something new 
Uh, we we love we are we uh, one of the things we you, you know that people have asked about is how what about new cases what new things and trying to stay like what's happening in the industry so what we want to do is we wanted to talk about this bad boy right here this is the brand new case that Lee and Lee did in partnership with PCMR this is the Lee and Lee 011 Vision so something that basically all 011 owners have been talking about is how do I minimize the amount of bars and just make it more for like a fish tank for my um, for my freaking components, right? Tank. Yeah. And so and like so what we they did is this is kind of something that they worked with Pedro and the team over at PCMR to build something that really just showcases. Now there's a couple things about this particular case that is very different than any other normal Lee and Lee 011. First and foremost, you might notice, yeah, somebody's saying nice aquarium. Yeah, it's, it's got that aquarium type look. Let's jump over here top down. You guys can actually see that there is no, there is no, nothing on the nope. top. You just basically, which is this is, if you're looking at an old school 011, you would notice that usually you would have here at the top, um, a, uh, uh, here at the top you would have um, a place to mount a 360 millimeter or 420 millimeter if you're using an XL. Uh, but in this case, you don't have that. So it does change the overall uh, thermal configuration that you could do in this case. So just to give you guys radiators and let you guys kind of know what's, what you can do here, you can do a 360 millimeter on the back. You can do two 120 millimeter fans on the rear, which means you could do if you had like a, a GPU that had an external radiator, like a 240 millimeter, um, like for instance, like the Supreme X or something like that, you could mount that to the rear. And then you could do a 420 millimeter radiator slash um, at the bottom, but obviously AIO having a, a bottom mounted with a pump above is not necessarily an optimal configuration. So basically they say 360 millimeter at the bottom. So you, when you think about it, and one of the reasons we wanted to do a 14700K build specifically uh, in this case was because the thermal capacity for this particular um, unit isn't really ideal for things like 14900s or, or uh, higher end CPUs because you just don't have the cooling like you did before. In most cases, when you looked at Lee and Lee 011s, uh, and then you go over, we'll go over to the side view here, um, you would actually basically do intake, and then you'd have intake in the side, and then you'd have exhaust at the top. But given we don't have exhaust, we have basically an exhaust situation through the rear, and then you have intake at the bottom. And then what we have tested as well is whether you could do intake or exhaust is the rear fan. We've tested with one and two fans. The actual difference in temperature is actually anywhere between one and two degrees. It's actually not that big of a deal. So all in all, really what you have to rely on is making sure that this thing can get enough air to feed your AIO, which is why the 14.7 in this case ended up being the perfect CPU for this case. Now, before I get too far into that, Alex, do you want to tell them a little bit about the 14.7? Because I think some people don't know as much about that. Yes, actually, yes, yeah. Um, well, just cover a little bit ago, but for those who are just showing up, this so the fourteen seven just came up. Why? By just yeah, it was uh, two months ago. Time is going pretty fast. Anyway, so the four uh, the Core i seven fourteen seven hundred K and KS are there on the KF. I think it's also uh, not KS. Sorry, KF uh, are there. So you have uh, more cores than the previous generation. So you have four more cores, more E more E cores. So be the previous one we have eight, and this one we have twelve. We also have higher frequency that we went from uh, 5.6 to, sorry, 5.4 to 5.6. So you have 200 megahertz higher. And all this is pretty much is improving your performance on single thread and multi-thread, which is pretty neat. Uh, I had one question for you, Roby. Yeah. Uh, that fan in the back. Any yeah. stories on the fan in the back that you have up there? This one. Yep, that one. Yep. Because usually you have, you have, you know, usually have your intake fans and then that's one of your outtake. Is that set as an intake outtake? This, this one we have it set as exhaust. We tested it both intake and, and Matt, I saw your question, so I'll get to that too. Uh, you can do, I've tested it both intake and exhaust, both with a single fan and with a two fan. And in both the cases, the difference in temperature was near negligible. We're actually gonna turn this on and show you temps with uh, the current configuration, of course, and then show you some gaming benchmarks and stuff if you're interested in this. Now you might be asking Roby, what do we have inside of this system? And that is a very, very great question. And here it is right here. Here are the parts inside of this particular Lee and Lee system. We have a Core i7-14700K. We're using the ROG Strix Z790A gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. 
Uh, we have the Strix NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 in white. Uh, we have three terabytes of Viper VP4300 uh, NVMe Gen 4 storage. Uh, we have Viper Elite 5 DDR5. This is a 48 gigabyte, uh, so we're using 24 gig sticks, which, you know, that's the thing that people forget about DDR5 is you don't have to stick with 8, 16. You can do uh, 24, 48. So we actually have 48 gigs of RAM in here. Uh, and then, of course, this is the Lee and Lee 0 one Vision. And then we've got the Galahad 3, uh, Trinity 360. And then we have the MSI MPG A850 PCI 5 um, cooler inside of it. Now, uh, one of the questions that Matt asked is said, hey, Roby, is this around the same size as the OG 011? This is actually in between the XL and the Evo, so it's just a little bit bigger, but it's kind of like the case of it's not too big, not too small. And if you guys want to see our full review on the whole thing, we actually have that, so we'll do, do a lot more in depth uh, as well. But in terms of where we are at from a cooling capacity, this cooling capacity for this case is actually very similar to the H9 and the N5, the NV5, which aren't the best cooling, but again, it's one of those things where they don't get direct airflow versus like the NZXT H6 flow or something like that as well. Uh, does a 1400K at 450 watts survive on a 280 millimeter? So, uh, no, yes. Uh, you're, again, if you're running 450 watts, a 280 millimeter radiator, you're looking, you're going to want to do 420 in that case. It's going to be a little bit different. And again, that's 450 watts, you're really pushing that CPU. Um, um, I'm trying to see what else is going on here. Uh, if there's other questions that I've seen about this, if not, we're going to start showing and talking about cable management, and all that sort of stuff, but giving you guys a better idea of um, the installation. Now, a couple things about this particular case, which is actually very, very cool, is you'll actually see it's got a bunch of screws on the side. And what this allows you to do is this actual motherboard tray is actually shiftable. Now, I will say one of the things that you'll notice, and let me grab, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go, we're gonna go to Rome mode here. So we're gonna start removing glass and all that fun stuff. And I'm gonna show you oh. there is something about uh, when you build in this, there's a lot more thoughtfulness that needs to come into it. What was the question? Probably before you you completely take all, all the glass away, can you show the, the upper corner? The the one that the frost hit? Oh, sure. Do you want to see the, the top one? The top? Yeah, yeah, that one where they all come together. Yep. In the, yep. And actually this top view here, we'll go to top down here so you guys can see it a little okay. bit better. And we'll, so here is the top corner. And actually what it is, is it's a series of like, it's almost like if you remember the candy from uh, the original OG Willy Wonka, uh, that like everything was about. It's kind of like interlocks like that. So it's it's pieces of plastic that are uh, built into the corner and then everything sits there. But I will say um, when you get it shipped, it actually has a bunch of rubber strips that go across it that when it's because the glass does rub together. So the one thing I would say is if you build this PC uh, and then you know you're gonna move it, you definitely need to put those on because the glass does rub um, because you don't have that support. Unlike the O11, the uh, Evo XL or any of the other ones. So it's just something to be um, um, very, very cognizant of for just for uh, when you think about moving it. Uh, is it cat laying friendly? Absolutely it is. Actually the thing is for cats, <laughs> Yeah, that's a very good question, Matt. Uh, for cats, um, they can lay on it, they get no hair into it, and they still get the warmth of the PC. So it is actually very cat friendly. You may want to put like a doily or something like that on top of you do, because you just don't want to have like cat butt like imprints <laughs> on your glass, you know? But I mean, outside of that, yeah, it's, it's actually, I would say it, it's Roby cat friendly uh, for sure if you're looking to do something for cats, you know what I mean? Or ah. something like that. I agree with Matt. They should put those bullet points right there in the box. Cat friendly, <laughs> Cat no butt friendly. prints. Okay, so I am gonna go roaming camera because I want to talk a little bit about. I want to talk a little bit about the building in this case, right? Uh, because this is specifically really around um, showcasing a PC. So we're gonna jump in here real quick. And one of the things I want to show you is this case also. Uh, does a very good job of showing cables. So you can see in this case, what we've done is we've done a we've we've run all of our cables behind, and they're all behind the motherboard here. Even the ones that are uh, underneath are all behind the motherboard. And the the thing that makes that possible is you'll actually see there's a screw right here. This screw you can take off. And then you can, what you'll do is you'll build this whole PC almost outside of the case. So outside of the GPU, you'll build the, um, the radiator, 
and then the Mobo section and everything outside. And then as you put it into the case, you'll then run all of your front panel connectors um, and then kind of run it all. And then you'll put the motherboard inside. So it doesn't, if you really wanna make a build look good, which I think we took a lot of time to do with this particular build, you really wanna take your time in terms of uh, hiding cables and tucking everything because everything, especially in the white version and the black one, probably not as big of a concern. And this is available in white and black. The black I think is uh, $10 less than the white version. Um, but the thing is, is because the cables will be way more visible, like for instance, the only black cable you see in this entire build is if is you can look down here at that one and that one. Outside of that, every other cable we have hidden and it took a ton of time. And of course, we have this all in a live stream if you wanna watch the entire build process. But just something to be aware of is that the building of this in this particular unit just takes more time. And it's something that if you don't care about cable management and you don't care about cleanliness, this may not be the right case for you uh, in particular. Now, I know some people are asking, Roby, what is our, what is our you know, rear you know, panel look like? What's up? Yeah, yeah. Is, is it a mullet or is it actually, I, I, know, I know the answer, but is it like all business in the front and party in the back and a mess in the back? But I know you, so I know it's all business in the back too. Yeah, so the back of this case actually has, and we'll, we'll pop it up here so you guys can actually see. So the back of this case actually has quite a bit of room for cable management. Of course, we kept ours very, very clean. We use custom cable mod cables because again, with a build like this, you definitely want to showcase it. This build, when you think about a 14700K build, they have a tendency to be in the two to $2,500 range. Uh, if you're doing like a 1440p, this one's upwards of like 3,600, specifically just because of the custom cables and some of the other accoutrements we have here. But um, it does have a stackable system for doing your cable management. And you can see in terms of routing things, you can see all of my cables and stuff are actually hidden behind the mobile. So it, even the back actually looks really clear. Um, uh, it looks really clean. Um, the other thing that's actually really nice is everything's held by magnets. This um, and what it made it so easy in terms of installing and doing the radiator outside of the uh, outside of the case is that you can just remove this and this pops all out. So you can do all of your installation, not only just here, but also in the front with the front fans. Um, you can do all of those installations um, without, by taking this stuff out. So it just makes it really easy to put the case together. So uh, is, is everybody <laughs> being like me right now with his camera, which was like, it's shifting. I mean, no, no, no take on you, Roby. We're just so, so fun and so involved into this one. And I'm just looking at it. I'm like, just in my head. And I just caught myself going like, this is like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then you move the camera. I'm like, oh, that's pretty neat too. <laughs> I'm trying, yeah, I'm trying to give you guys, I'm trying I, to give you guys I know. a I, great, and, and again, we it we is are testing out a bunch of different remote cameras to make this better. Um, but I really want to just basically show and no. give you guys a better idea, especially if you want to put a 14700 build inside of this. And we'll talk about the 14700 more when we turn it on. But yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy the camera uh, because we're like, it just does a better job of us getting to show the details behind things, oh. which is always good. It, it was not It was not a dig. I said, I love it. it. I thought it was fun. I just cut myself like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. It is. Anyways, I thought it was a Funny, but I like I like what you're doing. I really like it because we get to see everything, especially when you were going to the back and you just opened that, throwing everything like Sarah called it. It was like, oh my god, even that looks nice. It's like yeah, we, <laughs> that's a, that's what you want. And I, I feel like that's the thing when I talked to a little bit when I talked to Lee and Lee about uh, when we talked to Lee and Lee about the case. This case is about showcase. This case is about beauty. This case is not about is not really for something where uh, you're you're not giving it. Uh, you're not giving it your best, right? So there's just a lot to think about uh, as you're building the PC for the first time. So it's just a, it is, it takes a lot of time, but in the end we took, a, we with this particular build, everything from using like the little cable mod um, radiator attachments to get the pinks, the bits of pink in there and all that sort of stuff came out really good. But now is the fun part, guys. Let's turn it on. We're gonna show you a little bit in terms of benchmarking, talk a little bit about the 14.7 because dude, the 14.7, this is, it's it's a great CPU, right? Am I right, Alex? It's, it's a great, I really like it because it's it has, you know, if you, if you see it across the stack, it's pretty cool where it lands because you have the, the frequency, the cores that you need. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's, it's even, I want to say even the price point is it's really good, right? Because it it's it's a great, it's not, it's, I mean, it's not your Halo products like, ooh, I'm riding a Lambo, but hey, it's a nice, nice Nissan GTR. And that it can you know kick butt so i really like it i really like it a lot and the thing to that 
Yeah. Go for it. Sorry. No, uh, the thing I was going to add, though, is it's not just it's not just even about even if you're you know, like the Halo product. The thing that's so nice about the 14.7 is the 14.7 is a great product if you want to do 4K content creation on a budget as well as 4K, uh, 4K gaming. One of the things that people get really, really hung up on with 4K gaming is that they feel like they have to have a 14.9. And in fact, really good 4K G CPUs, because the CPU is not as important as the GPU in any way, shape, or form, are really the 14.6 and the 14.7, or even going into the stack of the 13.6 or the 13.7, which are more ideal, because the 14.9, unless you're using it for high-level productivity or rendering, etc., you're actually kind of wasting uh, you're kind of wasting your money in that case, right? When it's coming to us purely gaming. And that's what I love about this is that this one you could throw a 4080, uh, you know, or, or any other GPU and still have a really great 4K rig with a 14.7 and still be able to do all of your productivity stuff because of the additional E cores. And we're also talking about mega tasking. So being able to game and stream on the same system and not have to rely on things like NVEC encoder, but you could do, a, you know, AV1 and all that sort of stuff because the CPU can absolutely handle it. It's yeah. I need yeah. Unless yeah, and, and unless you're like Viptus, who needs uh, I, if you're if if you're not playing <laughs> CS:GO at 700 frames per second, it you might as well just throw away the PC. You know what I mean? Like it's just there's nothing going in there. Okay, so let's pop it on uh, and just get you guys the full the full glory. I know some people have like are probably more excited about actually seeing the PC on, and then we'll uh, we'll jump in and show you guys some uh, performance numbers. Um, if this was a, a normal Robitech stream, we'd do the will, will it post, but the thing is, is everybody know it posts because they've already seen the build before. But here it is, here it is all lit up. And it's gonna go to pink and blue, so we wanted to make sure that it, we, like, you get like a stunning build. Let's just jump over the side view here, because the side view of this, I think we might actually be, uh, I, we might actually make um, Sarah wanna build another PC, because this PC is just, Thank it you. looks so good. So those are the, the Lee and Lees that are, are magnetically connected, right? So you have less wires to deal with. Yep, yep. It is the, uh, these are the Lee and Lee uh, SL Infinity fans. So the Infinity fans, again, are the ones that just, they clip together. So there it is. There it is with all its blue. And then we got uh, some pink that kind of goes around to kind of fix, uh, to do the entire motif there. I do have, I ordered, so you're noticing a little bit of sag, bra sag there. I do have a new GPU bracket coming from um, from the folks at um, Cable Mod, so that'll actually hold hold it up. Sorry, it's there. It's there's something. There's nothing we can actually do about it. You do need a sat. One thing about these super thick 40 series cards is that it even with their like their back braces and stuff like that, they still just have sag. So, um, but yeah, there it is, all lit up and looking looking super fly. What were you gonna say, Sarah? I think I heard you say something. Maybe oh, didn't. you were saying, is it going to make me want to build another one? Yes. <laughs> Am I on mute? No, you're not. So, you weren't. You weren't. I heard you say, but I talked over you because I'm a rude oh. individual and I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> She's like, so what oh. we... she just says, oh. <laughs> okay, so let's pop it in here. So no, let's... Not... Go ahead. No, I said you guys need to be nice. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> We're usually nice to you. Well, at least for five minutes of the show, we try to be nice. <laughs> okay, so, so we have, so here we have, guys. We're sitting here with, we'll pop open Cinebench. You can see right now our temperatures. And this is where you're seeing some limitations really of the case. So uh, you're seeing here right now our uh, idle temperatures. That's that's fine. It's sitting at uh, 34. You can see we actually got a score of 32,094. And then you guys want to compare that against the 14900K. The 14900K was sitting easily in the 40, you know, the 38, 39, 40, 41,000 range. If you can give it the appropriate cooling, right? You can definitely get 41, 42,000 uh, on a 14900K if you really wanted to. Um, but this one, so we'll just show you guys here some temps. So this is 10 minutes. Uh, you guys might be asking, Roby, what's your bio settings? Uh, bio settings for this is MCE, uh, multi-core enhancement is off. Um, everything that we have set on this is all about Intel. It's basically Intel standards. And so that's where we have, because I know that we have limitations, even on a, on a, uh, a 320 millimeter AIO. These fans, though very pretty, 
not necessarily the most ideal for cooling. If you wanted to really make something that was like cooling, uh, if you wanted to take this and, and make something that was more of a cooling masterpiece, I might recommend mm -hmm. the Fantex D30s in white. Um, those are going to be just do a better job of getting more air to the AIO and also intake from the bottom. But there you go, seeing it right there. And then our temperatures are sitting in the nice where I like them to be uh, for me uh, in the 80s, which is absolutely fine. And there's our temperature right there. 30, I mean, our score, and it'll go down a little bit, 32,481. So good, good temperature. The power limit on this, you can actually see it right here. It's pulling 250, 260, 280 watts. So there's your package power right there, Viftus. Again, I don't have MCE on, nothing like that. This is where, where I have this set because I'm, I'm actually considering making this my main build. I'm gonna replace it with a white 4090 um, is I have it at Tinker Place. You, everybody knows Tinker, Tinker Place, right? Is anybody, is, is that a new term? That means I've got everything at stock settings so I can load up the XTU and then start to uh, mess and modify with it. The one thing that I'll probably do more than likely, which actually gets me most of the way, is just use ASUS's AI overclocking technology because it does just such a great job of doing, of getting me within 99% of what I could do on my own, on my own anyway, so. Actually, Matt had a good idea maybe for, for, for next uh, following show or something later on. It's to do a, like a before, like standard and then OC, like an uh, AI assist OC. So yes, what can I actually, so. Matt, I, I was going to talk to Sarah, so we're coming up with some ideas. I think it would be cool to test the different AI assists. But yes, we absolutely can. Uh, I will say there isn't a lot of headroom on the frag box. And I was, I was thinking about doing that on the frag box because it's a 4900K. But given it doesn't have a lot of headroom from a cooling standpoint, it, you weren't going to get a whole lot. So we will. We have lots of guys. There are lots of new cases coming. We will absolutely uh, pop it into another case or find another case and then uh, um, basically uh, do a, a fun 14900. I'd love to get it like a H170 or something like that and really kind of do an AI overclock with something crazy. Yeah, so, um, okay, so here we go. Let's, uh, so we're gonna stop here. And we have a little bit of time left in this section. Oh, I you... hate that Sorry, I don't know where any, okay. I like, I because I've reprogrammed all of my stuff, okay, so we'll stop here. Let's just take a look at gaming temps because I know everybody really likes to know about gaming temps. So, you know, they're actually lower than people expect because a lot of people will go and run like a like prime 95 or power hungry thing and and you know you're eventually gonna hit uh that tj temperature which is the, the maximum temperature and they're gonna yep. be like oh my god it's reaching 95 like when you're playing games your system is not really hitting those temperatures. no and i and that's why i one of the things i really like to show that and that's and what your 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 point is very well put alex is one of the reasons i like i like to show this is because a lot of people think when They'll watch other tech tubers and nothing against them, and they'll say, "Look at the temperature; it's it's running at 98, and it's so much worse than blah blah blah." And then it's all in, and it's like, "Oh, I'm a gamer, so it's going to run at that." And you come to find out, it doesn't run anywhere near that. So that's why, in a lot of our reviews, um, we show gaming temps um, because that's where most people are going to see it. And so. A lot of times when we'll sit there and some people say like, well, I'm gonna do a small form factor build, but I was watching XYZ and when they did it, it, it you know, temperatures were really terrible. Um, and I was like, well, what did they run? And they were like, oh, they were running Cinebench. I was like, well, in gaming, you might, you're gonna be a little bit warmer than them. You might be in the high 70s, maybe low 80s, but for gaming in a small form factor build, this 14.7 or 14.6 would be absolutely fine if you were only gonna game on it. Now, if you're gonna tell me you're gonna do a bunch of content creation and a bunch of rendering, then we have to have a different discussion. But a lot of times when you think about PC building and a lot of, even when we put the parts together for this, you know, we're very, very intentional about thinking about the limitations of the case and then building up to the case's potential um, and then if I want to do more than what the case is doing, then I have to optimize things like using Noctua fans or Fantex D30s or something like that to really kind of get the most out of the hardware um, in, in this particular case. What if you install Lex Aim Assist powered Intel? So does that mean you just have Alex come over and then is that Lex Aim Assist? Yeah, I mean, if it's, if it's uh, Call of Duty, it's going to be fairly well. If it's Battlefield or PUBG, uh, I don't know. I can't yeah. make no promises. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you might be asked, somebody asked, what was the budget on this build? It was $3,600 for this specific build was $3,600. Um, Actually, it's, I mean, how beautiful it looks. It's not, it's not, not bad. 
No, we definitely spent, again, uh, where you see the money spent, cable mod, custom cables, and I'll just go to a side camera here while we're waiting for the, while I'm setting up the little bit, little bit here. Cable, custom cable mod cables. The cables, just, just the cables in this build were 300 bucks. So $262 for the custom cables and all of the combs and all that sort of stuff, which is what makes the, like Sarah said, what makes the back look so good. And the other thing too, is we also have um, things like the little accoutrements around the screws and stuff. Fans, uh, you know, when you're looking at something that's using seven fans, Fans have a tendency to be pretty expensive too. I mean, like, the, you know, th a pack of three Lee and Lee Uni 120 fans is anywhere between 70 and 100 bucks, depending on your the retailer you purchase them from. And if you're in some countries, it's like $10 million, you know what I mean? Um, and then the other thing too is that we went, we you know, we definitely went with a higher end Z790 board. And then you always just pay more money for Arctic parts. White is just more expensive. If you were gonna do the same build in black, um, and you wouldn't have to worry as much about the cabling and stuff like that. You could definitely make something less expensive, but then you don't have the uh, then you don't have the white case, so to speak. Um, uh, they ha there was a question for you. Sorry, from Vividus. I don't know if you saw it. Like, what case will be a no compromise to you? So what cases? So cases that are no compromise to me. Um, if I was going to talk about no compromise cases. Uh, things like the H6 Flow, which is probably one of the best airflow cases we've seen. The Lee and Lee Land Cool 2, um, I would say uh, mainly because you can do 420 millimeter AIOs and radiators on that one. Um, I would say the Fractal Torrent uh, is another option, especially if you're thinking about that from an air cooling standpoint. Uh, the Dynamic, uh, the, um, the Lee and Lee 0 one Dynamic XL, the Evo, or the Evo Normal Evo are good options if you wanted to do uh, more of the dual chamber cases like this. I think those are kind of the, the uh, like the top choices right now. I will say we just got finished playing with the Be Quiet uh, 800DX um, and then the cooling of that, especially with their new light wings, which are their silent wings, but with light loops, which means you still get the really good performance. Very, very impressed with that case too. And again, you also have a 420 millimeter AIO option there. So that would be another one that we literally just got finished testing. That could be a good option as well that I would say no compromise on. Uh, Narupo, so N N Narupo says $300 on cable. That's a fat. No, it's not. Wait, here's my thing. <laughs> Go sleeve your own cables and then come yes. talk to me about margin. It, uh, every one of the, the cables is hand sleeved and it is, it is actually a, a slimmer margin than you would expect. Um, and the other thing too is because they're all custom ordered, there is no, I mean, the, the where that you see the probably the bigger margins if you buy the kits, but in these ones you get to choose it, the configuration and all that sort of stuff too. Yeah. So yeah, the 800DX, yeah. Uh, did that answer your question, Vitis? And and and, if, and the other thing too is understand the when people say no compromise, no compromise can mean different things to different people, and, yeah. and that is a very personal choice. That's a lot of times when I'll do reviews. I'll, you know, when people are going in and diving in on a case, they are more than likely already interested in it, and so. For them, what no compromise might be for somebody is like, I want to show the most out of my parts. I literally am doing a commission for an individual whose whole job is like, I really just want to have the most RGB. No compromise is <laughs> if, if you cannot see it from space, we are compromising, right? So again, no compromise can mean different things. But when you talk about performance, no compromise, for me, that's usually a 420 millimeter radiator. But some people, like for instance, the Fantex NV7 or the new NV9, like people like Stuart Tonks, um, uh, you know, um, or individuals like that who are all about custom cooling, they might be, I need to be able to get super thick fat radiators in there. Um, and so it can all mean different things. <clears throat> and, and, and again, Viptus, may the journey ever continue there. I mean, I hope in one day, uh, like <laughs> <You're fine>. Alex <laughs> got his, when Alex got his Steam Deck on the head, we can, we can dub <laughs> you with a lightsaber and say that you have found your perfect case. But dude, it is, it is always a job. The, the good thing is, is that one of the things I, I, get the, uh, I get the humble ability to do is build in so many different cases, which makes it a little bit different. Yeah, so. Uh, I mean, NV, like. NV9 is close, apparently. We'll definitely have that on the show because that's one where we can do a 14.9. Sorry, Alex, I'm being rude. That's okay. You're good, no, 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 you're not rude. I was going to say, like, yeah, I, I wanted to kind of go back and double down that point on uh, uh, no compromises, right? Because you were saying, like, no, for example, I remember the fractals that used to come. I think they still come. I haven't built in a fractal in a while. They used to come with that, with a padding for noise. So some people are more worried about noise. Some other people yep. are more RBG. Some other people are just like, like you said, uh, just want to show all their parts. And uh, yeah, so it, it's up to you. It's up to you what you're looking for.
Yeah, and I, Fractal has some of that stuff. Actually, it's more Be Quiet that's actually been more, like even gotten more into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, be Quiet, yeah. The, yeah, the Be Quiet ones. Um, but yeah, you're, uh, you're right. You're absolutely right. It, 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 it means different things to different people. Is there the perfect case yet? I don't know. I mean, if there was, then, but the other thing too is perfect to one person is gonna be very different than perfect to another person. Like we don't even know what insanity would be Alex's perfect case. That, that is true. I mean, the, the last one that I built and that I really like, it was a Be Quiet, the A50. That was really nice. There you go. Yeah, so again, it's it's all it's all just gonna come to uh, different people. Okay guys, so we're yep. just gonna setting this up real quick and then we'll do this and then we gotta, we gotta start talking about gaming because it's we're not we're not done here. We're not oh, we're gaming. What are we yeah. gaming today? Well, actually, you know what? Maybe Alex, while I'm finishing up this little bit, do you want to talk a little bit about? Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the um, the holiday the Hitman game, holiday the game, the game awards, right? Because that was how we were oh, talking yes. about gaming, right? Because so I am getting to go, but Alex and I and Here you I guys have the opportunity to put your or maybe are, are they are they already done with putting their brackets together? That's already finished, isn't it? They uh, should. So. I think it is already. Yep. Those are finished, so everybody's kind of locked in. But there is going to be a, uh, if you guys are interested, I'm going to do like a watch party. Uh, oh. So if y'all want to come on to Discord and hang out with me, it's going to be super informal. And we're just going to chit chat and watch the show together. So um, if y'all are watching, come on, come on over. Maybe I won't go. Maybe I'll just go hang out and with you guys instead. <laughs> that almost sounds cooler. <laughs> Okay, so well, we are uh, Alex, why don't you go through? Why don't you go through a little bit of uh, what some of the uh, what some of the uh, nominees were in your categories and what you and I chose? Maybe like choose like two, and then I'll, yeah. I'll I'll get that going. All right. So for we have for the game of the year, of course. So Roby and Ad and I had pick uh, Starfield, and and actually the no the nominees for it that we have there is uh, it not is Starfield. Uh, <laughs> not Starfield. <laughs> it's now it's. It, <laughs> Not Starfield. It is Alan Wake, Baldur's Gate 3. Actually, uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Is that a, hmm, interesting? Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So it's pretty interesting uh, of, of those three. Yeah, so Starfield didn't make it in there. So our we're bracket choose, is already we busted. We another one, Alex. Yeah, we're already busted. We didn't even make it. Our game didn't even make it to the first one, right? So we're going to have to... I yeah. Think if I was going to choose... Oh, man. What, what, were the, what were the nominees again? So the nominee, oh God, hold on. So the nominees are Boulder's Gate. Yeah, I'm gonna choose Boulder's yeah. Gate. Yeah, I'm yeah, Boulder's yeah. Gate. Boulder's yeah. Gate. Boulder's Gate is gonna swipe. It's not even called well, the Game Awards. It's just called the Boulder's Gate Boulder's Awards. Gate. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm looking for the I'm trying to get to the ones that we have, which which is a best. Okay. So best score and music. So for best score and music, the nominees were Alan Wake Two. Sounds familiar. Boulder's Gate Three. Starting to sound like the Oscars. Final Fantasy 16, uh, Hi-Fi Rush, which was pretty cool that we played here. Yeah, I like that, that game a lot. That was a fun game to play. And and of course, uh, Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Hint, hint, Alex, get a Switch. Uh, so those are the ones. And of course, we picked, <laughs> you and I picked Starfield. So, <laughs> again, <laughs> bracket really busted again. We are busted yeah. again. Yeah. So, so which one do you have to pick? So you have Alan Wake, Baldur's Gate, Final Fantasy, Hi-Fi Rush, and Zelda. I think I'm probably gonna, I think I would love, I actually, I'm gonna choose Hi-Fi Rush, hoping, because honestly, that game from a soundscape standpoint was more integrated than any of the other ones, right? So it feels like that would be it the right It was full integrated. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will pick Hi-Fi Rush. I'm just interesting to see, because there were two types of music, right? Because I don't know if you guys have played it, but when we were installing it and he said like, okay, if you are gonna stream it, then you have to install it with the original score, because there's some proprietary music and then some, of course, some, uh, how do you call that? Anyway, so you cannot use the, the. there was actually some songs put in there if you're not gonna stream that were from, from other people and they had right. That, right, the rights, copyrights. That was the word I'm looking for, copyrights. All right, so let's come up to the next one. Uh, so the next one that we had there is, uh, did we do this audio design? Yes, yeah, the best audio Fantasy design. Music was actually really amazing. I'm just gonna go Hi-Fi Rush. I would say my second choice would be Final yeah. Fantasy 14. Okay, so last uh, they, category. What's our last one, Alex? Uh, the last one that we have. Well, we have a couple more, but we'll go with this one just to emphasize that our bracket is completely busted. For best audio design, we had Starfield. Oh, I had Starfield. You had Cyberpunk 20, 2077. 
Phantom which, Liberty. Yeah, Phantom Liberty, which I don't know if it didn't get nominated because it's not a full game, right? Because it was a DLC. But anyway, so none of those got nominated. So bracket busted right out <laughs> the gate. And you got the usual suspects. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, you got two usual suspects. So you got Ellen Wake 2, you got Dead Space, you have Hi-Fi Rush, and you got, have Marvel Spider-Man and Resident Evil 4. So I'm gonna, those I'm gonna probably gonna go. I'm gonna probably go Alan Wake on that one. Yeah, I the only the only one I have played there is Hi-Fi Rush, and I'll just go with that one. Skull <laughs> Island: Rise of Kong. That got worst game, I think. How, how oh yeah, know? worst game of the year. Yeah, That's worst the game of the year. <laughs> Went to that one. Okay, right, guys, let's take a look at this real quick. So we just want to show you guys what performance was like uh, on uh, on uh, the GPU. I'm gonna just mute the sound here for you guys. So this is what the performance, what temps are like under gaming. You can see right now it's sitting in the 60s. Let's just go ahead and run the benchmark. This is at 1440p. So this is a compromise. It's not at 4K, which is gonna use the CPU the least. It is at 1440p, which is where you're gonna see the mix. If I really wanted to see the worst case, I could run it at 1080p. But now you can see right here, game is running and we're sitting in the 60s um, right here. So a point, I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is that you're not, you're, like if you're worried about temps when gaming, they're, they have a tendency to be significantly lower. And you're seeing here, even in this case, the CPU, the 14.7, you're seeing it, it's being used 33, 34% of the time, versus if I was gonna do 1080p, you'd see that closer to 50 to 60%, so. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of wrap up this part of the, uh, of the, uh, the, the experiment. Now, the thing is, we are gonna be jumping into Hitman very, very soon. Uh, in the next like five or ten minutes and i will be playing hitman on this system so that'll give you another idea of what gaming temps and all that sort of stuff are like and what performance is like on a 14.7 at 1440p so i'll be running 1440p ideally this system is really a 1440p system with a 4080 when i think 4k you're looking at stuff like uh, 7900 xtx a 4090 that sort of thing is really kind of your 4k level cards um, and I think I have a tendency to 4K that when, if you're gonna do, I, 2K is like my favorite resolution right now uh, when you think about that stuff. So please do an overclock on the 14700K and run it. So Matt, we are gonna be doing some overclocking uh, on future episodes. This one where we're just gonna show, this one's really just focusing on showing you the case as it is stock. Um, and then what a good build inside of a case like this would be. And then showing you the 14.7 and how it performs. Uh, we will be doing some overclocking on a different show, but do not worry. Overclocking is in the future. Yes. Not today, but in the future. Sarah, when when Ooh. is it in the future? Next year. There we go. Yeah. There's the next answer. year. I, you know what, guys? We're <laughs> gonna end on a bang. I got some cool things I can't quite talk about just yet, but we are going to end on a bang for sure. Um, but one of the things we wanted to showcase and what we're doing today is that um, the build that Roby was just talking about um, in that new Leon Lee case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to share those config specs and we're going to keep building on those. So when you guys get ready for your next 14 gen build, that you're going to have a lot of examples of configs that we've talked about. So we want to make sure that you guys have that as a resource. Okay, well, there you go. Okay, so here we go, guys. And by the way, huge, I mean, again, we have almost 200 people here on Twitch and YouTube right now, and then we're sitting at 134 over at Discord. So it feels like the Twitch, and you, you, we're definitely seeing some uh, some higher, welcome new people who usually don't get to see this show. Super cool to actually have you guys here. Um, what we're getting ready to jump to is we just got finished showing the frag box. We showed the Lee and Lee, and now we're gonna do a little bit of gaming. Uh, and showing off uh, some Hitman. Uh, do we need to do some transition work, or uh, Alex? Or are you? Are you? How? Yeah, let me go. You? I give me go five minutes. Okay, five minutes. So we're gonna go five minutes, and then uh, what? We're gonna go ahead and get things kicked off here. So Alex disappears for a little bit, and then let me know when you're ready for your reveal, Alex, because we'll have that all fun. Any other questions that you guys have? Any other questions you guys have about? Uh, the 14.7 uh, or the 14.9 um, or about cases or anything like that. We just really want to make sure we answer those things. Uh, Matt, what's your other question? Can it run Fortnite? Absolutely. This is more than able and capable of running Fortnite. Uh, 
I know, I know. If uh, you are not wrong, Fat Ham, you are not wrong. He is like cosplay for. Uh, this is like the perfect cosplay for Alex. <laughs> um, in terms of cosplay, you're you are absolutely not wrong. This one I think was easy. I don't know if he had to buy anything for this one. No, he was just he was ready to go. He was born ready to play Agent <laughs> Forty Seven. Oh, you wanted to know the specs. Somebody asked, what are the specs for the build? Sure, we can show you guys that real quick. Here it is right here. So for the build that you guys are looking at here that we're getting ready to play this on, we have a, oops, that would be the sign camera. Dang it, where is it? There it is. Uh, we have an Intel Core i7-14700K. Uh, for our motherboard, we're using the Asus RG Strix Z790A Gaming Wi-Fi 2. This is their refresh for 14th gen. We have the Asus RG Strix NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4080 in white. We have three terabytes of Gen 4 NVMe storage from Viper, both VP4300s. We have Viper Elite 5 DDR5. This is 48 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer. We have the Lee & Lee 011 Vision uh, is the case. And then we're using the Galahad Two Trinity 360 to cool our 14700K, and then finally for our PSU, the MSI MPG A850 PCI5 uh, power supply. Now, in terms of fans, we're using the Lee and Lee, um, the Lee and Lee SL120 Infinity fans, uh, of which we're using four additional ones, and then the cables are cable mod custom cabled extensions that we ordered with the blue, pink, and all that sort of stuff, and then that is everything together and a partridge in a pear tree that's like everything so there it is and then if you have questions if you head down to if you head over to youtube just go down all of the parts are listed there in the in the uh youtube description as well so that is uh everything there okay bringing up hitman getting it going getting it launched i got everything set for it ray tracing all that sort of stuff Riker asks, if you want to participate in the giveaway, there it's it's you're getting you know, he'll get you the information. Dig the harmony. I'm glad I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I I I I, uh, I used to do choir and all that stuff in uh, back back in the olden days. So I still think I can sing okay. <clears throat> getting in the holiday spirit. I don't know what that, what, I don't even know what that question is. Sorry, I don't know what the, uh, okay. Yeah, I would ask, so Matt, for those kind of questions, head over to Discord, ask in Discord. That's a great place to get help with those kinds of community questions. So, um, so I really, I, yeah, we want to get you your help, but yeah, that's a, that's a hard one to answer on, uh, on a live show like this. Turning on my controller. Alex, give us a warning and I'll make sure that we're at a full, we're ready to go. I don't wanna, I don't wanna take it away until you're ready. Oh, I can't wait to see what he does here. Are we expecting a full suit? I don't know, I, have, I, don't, I don't know what to expect. I really have no idea what to expect. And guys, that's just in case you want to include a little holiday spirit. I know that uh, I got tech on my Christmas list, so Chippy's ready. Okay, so we're going to destinations. There we go. And then we're going oh, to everything? show you guys here pretty soon. I feel like this is, is this set, does this have HDR on? feels like it does. Oh, that's a great idea, Viptus. An Intel Insider's Advent Calendar. Oh, that actually is a good oh, idea. That's a good idea. Advent Calendar Challenge. Oh, you love your puzzles. You did so good. Hey, uh, Matt Bot, when are we announcing winners? Did I just... That might have been too soon. I apologize. Yeah. So this is... For those who don't know, and we'll have, once Alex gets in here, we'll give you guys the full 411 on this. This, But this is essentially the... Um, this is a challenge. It's called... I just forgot the name of it. 
Do you remember off the top of your head? Uh, oh, the minute you said that. I know, and it's mm -hmm. it's the exact same thing just happened to me. Public public enemy. Oh, there public enemy. Go. There we go. Yeah, this is the public enemy challenge. It's currently the one right before their Christmas challenge. And what they do is they have a bunch of, you know, the amount of content in this game, it, like, it surprises me how much content is in this game, um, Sarah. There is a ton. I, like, I was going through is, like, the amount of missions and all that sort of stuff. <gasps> what is that? Oh, is he ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on, Alex. Don't, don't. There we go. Here we go. Okay, Alex. Oh, look at the barcode. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's full. Oh, my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> that is so. It's Agent Ark. I got to say, oh. Alex, that looks, that looks really good. <laughs> really good. The raised eyebrow added to it, too. It Matt did. Bot, I hope you've got that. Yeah, the Academy, the Academy Award definitely goes to Alex on that one. So, I mean, he's like, hold on, you got to pose for your, you got to pose for your new, your new, uh, your new Emoji. icon because they haven't even made yeah. it yet. There it is. That's the icon right there. That, you know, Alex, every time you step it up a little bit. <laughs> okay, he's every got it. time. Yeah, he does. He said he said he's actually got it. This one, uh, it, it was. It's funny because uh, I only had to buy the tie <laughs> <laughs> and the barcode. <laughs> yeah, you want to show the barcode? Let's do one more. Let's show the yeah. barcode one more time. I'll go into full screen there so you guys can see. I the couldn't barcode. get one. I couldn't get one that had the forty-seven at the end. So I don't know what number I am. Maybe I, I am. When I scan it, you actually come up as baby powder <laughs> or void. <laughs> <laughs> void. <laughs> but there it is. Recall. Yeah. Recall. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and so uh, we're gonna show you. So uh, you want to talk a little bit about uh, Hitman Three real quick, uh, Alex, and take us in there, uh, Agent yes. Alex, Agent Ark. Agent Ark, yes. Yeah, so uh, Hitman Three, for you guys uh, don't know, uh, it is a game about you are a hitman. You are have these different tasks that you have to do, and those tasks uh, it's to remove uh, people. Uh, politely from uh, the politely. world. I like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Poli politely from the world without others no noticing, not making too much of a ruckus. Uh, your mission, for example, the one that we're about to play right now, you have to uh, remove a, a previous old KGB spy that actually lives in the U.S. that ha that has a security detail. And, and actually, the head of the security detail, you also have to get rid of it. And actually, that's kind of our main goal because that's what we're looking for. The price there removing the head of the security detail is this new uh, wonderful suit that looks like from the gangsters back in the 50s, I think. Uh, of course, you have to remove uh, these people uh, without others, without raising suspicion and without others knowing or seeing. Uh, the head of security is a pretty suspicious guy, pretty paranoid, and so it doesn't make it easy. So it, it, I really like this game for those who haven't played because it's all about its wits. And, and it's all about thinking. It's, it's a puzzle. That's what it yep. is. I like it yep. a lot because it's a this puzzle is, and it's also a goal. Yeah. This is not a run and gun game. So I'm loading. I'm no. loading up the. Uh, I'm loading up the the briefing. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Yeah. So the briefings is loading up. So. Yeah, I, I really like it. Uh, I got to admit, I uh, I only got to play it for the first time yesterday, and I was completely hooked. And I'm like, oh, I really got to make time for this. But I was a little busy trying to finish <laughs> the Civilization VI challenge. And I'm like, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. I got I got the majority of the wonders. What else do I need? But yeah, but I, I love this, this game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, the actually, actually, there's a lot of other missions that come with this uh, se uh, season. Right. Uh, of, of challenges and I played one last night and, and it's a lot of fun you can just go in and do it you don't have to do the whole story so that's what I did and uh, even without playing it before it was, it was fun I got to I had three uh, marks that I had to uh, clean and dispose of and I was able to dispose of two and it was it was it was, it was so much fun 
highly recommend that. It's definitely going to be one thing that I'm going to be playing on my uh, one of uh, yeah over the holidays. Your brand new toy that's on its way, literally exactly in the mail today. Um, yeah, no, and, and the thing is about it is like this is this is definitely a game if you're into handheld gaming, uh, whether that's using the the brand new hopefully uh, one based on Meteor Lake that'll be coming out here later on, or if you're using like a Steam Deck or a Legion Go or a ROG Ally, this is a great game for that because this does run very very well uh, on them. They're all it is a actual Steam Deck certified game. Um, and then again, I was like, you and I, I mean, you would agree, right, Alex? We were going through trying to find these challenges, of which they're all, that's one thing that they're doing is creating new challenges to create new outfits and all that sort of stuff. But there is a ton of content in this game. Yes, there's just a ton of content. There's a lot of things. And actually, uh, Vipers just remind me that, uh, yeah, the Hitman 3 looks really good at Intel. And there's a lot of collaboration between Intel and uh, 101 Studios. Actually, the, the collaboration starts from, actually, I think it started in Hitman 2 or Hitman 1, I don't recall correctly, but actually for Hitman 3, uh, when we came out with the new type of architecture that is called nowadays hybrid architecture, in which is P cores and E cores, we were very close with them because when they were developing the, the game, they saw there was a frame to frame variation, it was very big. And and the way they were seeing it is because uh, one of the ways they were testing it is like they shut off all the E cores. And they saw that when they shut off all the e cores, the, the variation changed a lot. So they kind of went in and tried to look what was going on. And they're able to see that every three frame, like you were rendering frames, and every three frames, the third frame was longer than the, the amount of time the other two took. So they took a, like a deeper dive with our engineering and their engineers, and they found out that like every third frame, physics, the physics calculation is being called. And that will either start at the beginning of the when the frame was rendered or like halfway through it. So that was kind of increasing the amount of time that like it will take to render that frame. So like let's say it was six milliseconds, and then when physics was called, it will take 16 milliseconds. So what they did is, and this was happening because they were shutting off the the e core, so they saw that frame variation. So what the, one of the things they did, like both both engineers, like uh, Intel, and um, their one on one developers, said like, hey, you know what? Let's just send this it, it, this physics workload to the e cores, and that way, so they they did that to the e cores, and they also changed a lot of things on the timing on when it was a uh, when physics were called, if it was called like halfway through the render of the frame. I think they said it was going to delay. Anyways, I can set a link later on because there's a whole GDC class that they did on this, on, on the optimization. So long story long, the e-course are doing the physics, uh, some of the physics, I don't know all of it, but at least some of the physics when it comes to Hitman 3. So that was, that was pretty neat. Yes, and that should have been with the professor, but hey, today we're doing the Hitman, the Hitman professor. <laughs> or the... Or the in, <laughs> Agent Sorry. Arc was perfect. Or Agent Agent Arc. Today with you guys is Agent Arc. Well, okay, so I'm in. I'm getting 321 frames per second. So this game is almost unplayable. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to slum it in those type of systems. Professor X E S S. Yes, that's a good one too. <laughs> Let me get a wheelchair, but that is really good. <laughs> okay, so Crouch is this. This. And yeah, and the thing is, is that it's all about approaching. So the thing, the challenges, they have these challenges, which are. They uh, have a tendency to release every, what, it seems like every six weeks. And these challenges unlock new uh, cosplay and contents. Uh, yeah, guns, new... cosplay, contents, everything. And for example, last night, um, yeah, like you said, you don't want to get caught or, or anything. So the reason I was able to dispose of my targets, of my second target last night, it was, a poor, uh, I got to admit, pure art coincidence. I was just walking by. Mm -hmm. And I saw someone standing in an alley, and I'm like, "Oh, I wonder if I can take his clothes." And uh, I killed him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, and you're not supposed—I mean, you're not supposed to have any collateral damage. So my side quest completely destroyed. But because I killed him, uh, the the person I was the target I was supposed to to kill uh, kind of saw what's going on in the alley, and he was like, "Hey, what's going on?" And the person came in, <laughs> and I hit behind a door and then as soon as he passed by uh yeah he was no longer present with us 
and uh, and then I, yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> So I'm, I'm currently walking around figuring out my my attack vector. But yeah, it's cool. It's I always love when games spend, you know, when they spend resources to make you feel like you you can get more playing out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. A lot a lot of playing because I was looking through it uh, last night. Is like wow, there's so many missions, and they just released a like a new way of playing. It's pretty much taking out some gangs, and the way it is like you pretty much you you get like too many bosses, and then you get the big boss, and then you go to the next level, and the next level is like you have four mini bosses, then the big guy, and, and so forth and so on. But the thing is, if you get killed by the boss, you lose all the, all your gear, all your guns, all your disguises. So you have to start from scratch. So it, it makes it like another level of challenge of challenging. So I thought it was pretty cool. But uh, but if you finish all the missions, you get to keep all the gear, and you get to keep all the gear in, in you know in your house, in your bad cave, in your in your arc cave. Ah, uh, so yeah. That's a nice boat. This guy's got a nice boat. Now, <laughs> the, now for us to be able to, and for us to be able to do this challenge, we have to kill him, kill both people with an SMG and a or an assault rifle. So we have to. The other thing we have to do is we have to find an SMG, or you have to find an assault rifle. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early, just to chat with the birds. And that's for the head of security. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him and I so, yeah, to I'm, I, uh, I think what I do is I need to run him over with this, with this uh, big truck. Guys, like what? 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 Uh, they're they're not euphemisms of of removal of uh, excess air intakers. There are just jobs. Yeah, I got a crowbar. Actually, <laughs> actually, I just watched, I think last week, uh, on the holidays, I was able to actually watch a movie, it's The Killer, on Netflix. It was pretty, pretty interesting. So is it's it not a lot your... like this? Is this where yeah. you tra oh, yes. you've been training? Exactly. Is this the killer is... to be better at this? Yeah, uh, that was all my training. I was checking all the, all the tips and tricks from the trade. We were exchanging tips and tricks from the, of the trade. Because that's how it works, you know? You, know, you, you have to see that there's a pattern going on here. Bed by Daylight was just not something that happened overnight. You know you know what I mean? You know, when I still just hang out around, it's not like it was my first time of a garbage disposal. So it's all good. So you found the bathroom. <laughs> here goes the pole. I picked up here goes the pole. You know those bugs, those bugs, and where are you supposed to be? Like New Hampshire I need to use or something? The bathroom. Stop looking at my stream. I'm using the bathroom. <laughs> okay, I'm not using the bathroom. Can you actually use the bathroom? Now you got me all curious. I have another crowbar over here. Oh no, I got it. Uh, That's a lot of crowbars. Uh, I would like to thank Matt for making me look good in my icons. Uh, I really appreciate Did, has the that. Icon come out? Oh my gosh, oh, that yeah. looks so good. I wish you could see the eyebrow better because in a bigger image, it's impressive. Yeah, uh, my friend uh, Dwayne Johnson, uh, kind of, we, we were trading tricks on how to do that because we were both cooking, and we can smell it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the jokes, the dad jokes. <laughs> oh, oh this, is, this, this house is being fumigated. Oh, that's very that's very convenient. Yeah, it is. I should go. Oh, and I'm gonna steal this car, and then I'm gonna go run over. Nope, I guess I'm not. Hey, Can you get up, like a navigation guy? Are you gonna need like a gas mask? Oh, hey, how do you know? Wait, knock him out! Knock him out! What is that? Chicken. This is like such a <laughs> nice neighborhood. I feel I feel like this. Would is you be my neighbor? Sarah would live in. A little highfalutin for me. Oh, really? All right, la-di-da. 
Well, I don't know if you guys, the introduction to the neighborhood is like, this neighborhood is occupied fairly by, I was like, I'm wow. Sorry, I'm going to this person's birthday party. What's up? Yeah, I'm dressed Can up. That suit good. Oh, this you guy know what? look good. You know, it was, it was, it was interesting. Uh, the weekend, yeah, last weekend I was also in a wedding. <laughs> and, and, uh, and this, and I had this jacket for a long time and I showed up, it's like, you look like an assassin. And I'm like, <sighs> Funny that you say that because I'm going to wear this next weekend for a show. <laughs> Which I am assessing. I mean, I didn't say the other stuff, but I was like, okay, it does get that look, so that's good. Oh my god! Oh, that was not the right button! Oh, did god. you Did you just. No! Whoa! Oh, oh my god! No, 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 it's all the Get him! Get him! Run away! Run away! You gotta run! You gotta win this! You gotta run! <laughs> You're channeling too much Alex on this one. Oh, channel your inner Alex, Roby. Channel it. Go get the chainsaw. You're not shooting at anymore. Come here. You're gonna, you're gonna need to go change no clothes. Witnesses. No witnesses. Oh my god, they all have guns. <laughs> go hiding behind the wall. Yeah, hide behind the door. <laughs> uh. Are you hit? You're not supposed to get injured. You're not supposed to wait. Don't don't smash your head against the wall. Oh, get him! Oh, dude! Karate chop! Karate chop! Oh my god! There's like fifty thousand people with guns here. It is the U.S. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Okay, so don't don't beat up the birthday girl. Just just let her go. <laughs> don't, she wasn't the target. Don't don't go and just punch her in the face. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we, dang it, Jim! We did everything we could to save her. I was, I was, I, I, I feel really bad. That cop has got shorts on. Now we know what you know. Figman is like. Now we know where Roby doesn't go to, <laughs> to kids' sir, birthday, kids' parties anymore. Oh, psycho! I saw that. What you oh. Oh. He dropped a coin. Now I'm a cop. Nobody knows. <laughs> nice. Wow, that was. Oh, no, I sorry, need to is... learn. I need to. You see, I think he's a version higher than me because he changes pretty quickly. So I must be like a, a Agent Thirty Seven or something like that. Because I think is when you reach the Agent Forty, that's when you can completely transpose your clothes immediately. <laughs> I'm the best. I am the best. <laughs> Hitman ever. <laughs> I don't You're know. not Roby, you're not invited to Ricker's <laughs> birthday next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm the best you, hitman ever. Dude, I You were definitely so hitting people with that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> this outfit. Come on. <laughs> so hot right now. So amazing. That Hansel. That Hansel so hot right now. <laughs> what was I gonna say? You should uh if you see Roby showing up at your birthday party with a crowbar, you might want to leave. <laughs> Ranger Stranger, oh, that's I got a funny. Remote, I got a remote demo. Like, I got the ability to, like, blow up stuff now. Did you find, like, a C4 with a remote that made? What I'm looking for right now is I'm doing some recon, guys. Oh, you got... Oh, hey, you got a Glock. 19. Nap time is over. Taking Hitman out of the literally, yeah. I mean, he said the game wasn't the cold Hitman, so he just went. He swung for the for the bleachers. <laughs> it's fine, right? This is doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to hide it. Oh yeah, I should probably hide the bodies. There was a there was a pit back there in the construction site. I'm just gonna put them in the bushes over here. <laughs> just put a flower on top of it. Nothing's going on. You should buy like those balloons and tie it to get get soon. Get, get well soon. Fake surrender. Don't move. Good, good. Eat it. Eat it. Oh my God! What are you doing? <laughs> Give me my gun. That guy oh. tried to kill me. <laughs> He's coming right at me. Shoot him. He's coming Shoot right him. for me. <laughs> I see you. Give me cake. <laughs> and this is what happens when oh. you don't give cake to Roby at a birthday party. <laughs> you do not deny cake to the man. You did not get a cake. <laughs> There's no more crouching. He's just walking. In the yeah, I know. <laughs> a, give me cake. You know, give me this cake. is called. 
This is called this is Hitman, not Terminator. <laughs> you saw it because like explained Robocop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm picking up the blueberry muffin. Ooh, does it live in Blueberry Lane? Oh, now nobody will know me. Oh, cater. Dude. Oh. It was a cop. <laughs> it was. It was a stranger. Stranger lethal muffin. Stranger danger. I hear you. Careful, I have sugar with me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> here, I beat her with a muffin. <laughs> she really did. Really Take it out by a muffin. <laughs> and they said, uh, pastries are not... <laughs> now I know why they say pastries are not healthy for you. <laughs> have a muffin. Yeah, Boom. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, can you run them? Can you get in the car and run them over? Yeah, not the gumdrop button. Okay, I got him. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Oh. Uh, I think you're being shot at. They're all dead. Oh, nice. Okay, so here's my secret, guys. Now you disguise yourself as J. Oh gosh. Get the alarm. Go, go, go. Any backup? Now. That is a terrible shot. Boom. Oh. Now I look like a bodyguard. There you go. There's a bodyguard. Now this is how you do it. You know. And if you speak in English, I can speak. Now I look like a bodyguard. Without raising any suspicion. He was a stormtrooper before. Ring the doorbell. <laughs> Ring the doorbell. The giant although, gun that you're carrying. All those. He's answering. Hey, can you can you talk to your to your sleeve? Because maybe you have like. Uh, hey, I was, I was, I was. Ding dong. Uber eats. <laughs> got your okay, pizza. Got the real weapon. Oh, a tactical oh. shotgun. Yes. Oh! You brought a gun to a gunshot knife, kid. Oh, oh what for what? I bought a gun yeah, to a gunfight. Ma- Thank you. <laughs> oh, I wanted to say you brought a gun to a shotgun fight, but I, I can't. I can't speak right now. I'm so, so enthralled and taken in by the. Roby's skills at ready? being Here a silent assassin. I think I've killed everybody in this neighborhood. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows I'm here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there, there, get him. There's right there. Are you playing PUBG, like Hitman and PUBG Wise? Is that what you're doing? I'm just saying, man, I killed a, I, I've knocked out a lady with a muffin. That is like, who kills with a muffin? Roby does. She, well, she wasn't a diet and she was not gonna. She was, I was like, I'll teach you to eat muffins. How's that guy still alive? Get on the ground. Do you think they'll know where I've been? Do you think the litter, the 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 litany of the bodies blood. just lay around? <laughs> the, the 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 what do you call that? The crows circling in the sky, the vultures. I'm going up here. Go. Oh. I'm in the house. I don't know if I need in to be the, in the house, in, but I'm in the house. House. She's my to my tea. Oh, I found a ladder. <gasps> a handy dandy. Whoa! Oh, whoa! What? Is, I found surveillance loft. Oh, sweet. That's a CRT. Can you throw that like in? <laughs> Pick it up and throw it. <laughs> hey, Dude, can you make that a slipper bill? Can you make a slipper bill? Oh, nice. Are those uh, you twos you for? <laughs> this is how you play a stealth game. Yes. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows I'm here, guys. I think I think I've been the stealthiest you have ever seen. <laughs> hey, Roby, you just say like, "Shh, we're hunting for wabbits 
It's wabbit season. <laughs> Araxmus, I have uh, I have transcended and now I exist as a PC. That is that is true. Okay, well I need to go find a tape to put into the tape recorder so I can watch a home movie. <laughs> now the question is: Is it a VHS or a Betamax? Uh, you know what? Let's not start that war all over again. <laughs> okay, going to the birthday party. Yay! Yay! I want some I cake. I want some party. cake. I remember you. Well, it's better than in. someone shows get up with a shotgun at the birthday get party. Get oh, bro! Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> You literally knocked her socks out of her. <laughs> like, her uh, blows away like five people and then crouches. <laughs> <laughs> that way they don't know. They don't know what's happening. Just, just in case somebody was watching. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody left to, to watch. I'm trying to find. I need to find the target's house. Uh, oh, public enemy. Uh, so far, I have not been able to do this correct, but hey. You know, that is 100%. It's always the wholesome ones you don't expect. Yep, you wouldn't expect oh, that from Roby. <laughs> yeah, he's in purge mode. Yes, Roby is in purge mode. <laughs> go, get, go get a clown mask, man. <laughs> Just... look, at the, look at all of them. All of those guys have, like, uh, guns. <laughs> Gotta get him. Oh, that's a work. Oh. Not oh, you're no. all the workers now? <laughs> no, that guy had a gun! He's coming out at me! <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, that, now I'm ready. That's not an ordinary look, like, guys, you are literally watching me cosplay Alex, right? Because uh, look at, I'm a man yes. in many disguises like Alex. <laughs> this is like your fifth outfit? Yeah. <laughs> I agree with Figment. Okay, like, bro, he's like... <laughs> he's using the force. <laughs> These are not the droids uh -oh. you're looking for. I might die. I took one too many for the team, guys. Oh. Oh. I just, I just, I just couldn't handle it. Okay, let's let's try it again, but this time, actually do it the way I'm supposed to, which is not by... with a crowbar to the head. Is this like clue with a crowbar to the head at the birthday party? <laughs> okay, now guys, it's all reset. I haven't killed any cops or anybody like that, but I do actually want to knock somebody out again with a muffin. <laughs> The Muppet right, that's your, that's your mission. Pretty funny. much the coolest thing you've ever seen. And I love all the Muffin Man references to, to Shrek. Do you kill the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Can you kill the Muffin Ooh, there you go. There it is. Ooh, hey, pick up Muffin. Ooh. Is that what that was Splenda? Dude, that <laughs> Hello? <laughs> she didn't see it coming! <laughs> she didn't see it coming! Really? <laughs> she was just coming! <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> she did not see that one coming! Okay, I get it. You're one of those. I need a break. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right into the. Oh, oh, missed that one. Oh, he's he's not feeling well. You should lay down. Get some air. Step on it. There we go. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's allegedly a stuff. You mean after you punch him? <laughs> Why is that guy Dragging looking at the... There's no body. <laughs> hey, buddy. What you looking at? Huh? What's huh? The just, What's the problem? I'm walking here. I'm walking, I'm walking here. I'm walking here. <laughs> I'm walking here. I knocked out four people with a blueberry muffin. You're a dangerous muffin, man. I'm a dangerous dude. I'm just saying. Some people, they get nervous about a lot of stuff. I get nervous about blueberry muffins. What are all the white things going on? Like, are they sad? Like, what's going on? That was a Alex, nice car. did you check chat? I saw that. I saw the chat. I'm going to vote for myself. Eh. That, that's pretty awesome. 
That is awesome. Thank you, man. <laughs> I knew that Roger had done it before, too, but I didn't know how. <laughs> okay, people were nervous because I had the eyebrow. gun out. That was the problem. Are you going to be like the Joker's? Like, I have a pencil and I'm going to make it disappear. Is that what you're okay, So I'm going to go talk to that person because I think he's got a clue. Strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy? <laughs> or are you going to give him a clue? He's been looking at the party three times already. How do you Why talk to just people? Go inside. It's open uh, to oh, there you go. Where's it? Knock him out. Knock him out. Oh. You, you can distract them. But it says, like, that. it says interact, pick up. But it almost looks like, you know how they have, like, a thing over their head? Uh, it's strange, all right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan. No, I don't oh. trust a man who can't eat a rare steak. Christ. All you ever care about is food, Al. You should take this Okay, so that's serious. it. You just got to listen to the story. Neighbors. Uh, so just a regular no Saturday sense. for me you at the supermarket. Like name if you ask me. Yeah, you tell him. Let me go find out about here. It's a nice house. It's very nice. Have you seen wonder... any muffins around, guys? Is that an 85? No, that's a... Sub... <laughs> that's... <laughs> Maybe you've seen some muffins? Do you know the muffin man? The muffin man? The muffin man. But who lives in Blueberry Lane? Oh, dude, kitchen knife. It's a knife. No. A lemon. A lemon hits hard, man. The knife is a little too... There you go. You can, you I can overflow the sink to distract I'm going to be leery when I see you. In the... Who wants me to come to their birthday Roby. party? <laughs> with a crowbar and a muffin. <laughs> if I see Roby with the muffin, I'm just going to start running. Don't. Okay, Roby, this is not dead by daylight. It's a good crab muffin. <laughs> She's got, dude, do you hear that? She's got no. microfiber upstairs in her. She found like microfiber. Oh, like microfiber, like an old, like back in the days that you had the little. That's very good. Back in the day, James was known for his. Okay, so now you go. I am confused. Locate the microfilm. It's upstairs. There we go. The microfilm. Who uses microfilms anymore? I do. Yeah. And muffins. Oh, this is a wine cellar. Uh, I was like, I thought she said upstairs. You know what? You know, you're not the boss of me, Overlord. <laughs> he's a, uh, he's up, he's backwards. <laughs> his, 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 his wires are twisted. That's right. I just wanted to, I just want to make sure there was nothing else down here. I was looking for some chandeliers. Found some. <laughs> Found some chandeliers. Just you, can, you should grab a wine, a bottle of wine, and put a little napkin on your hand. I was going to get a nice. I was getting a nice Savon Blanc. A uh, a. Uh, I was going to get some uh, Savon Yon Cibu Blanc. Blanc. Savon Blanc. I know nothing some, about uh, wine. Savignon. I wine a lot. I mean, that's what my wife tells me, but I know nothing about wine. Wow, this guy. Look at this. Wow! Wow! Like, wow. Talking about a man like, cave. I'm a little game. jealous. Yeah. No. I think your PC setup's a little better than that. I'm turning the TV on. Let's see what's on. Yeah. Holy, he's compensating. That is a oh terrible, my God. That is a terrible image on that TV. Ooh, Who that's has not an all. American flag in there? Oh, maybe I know. You know, maybe people do. Never mind. I, I never know. It's like a sports ball. Ooh, we got a baseball yeah. bat, a baseball. Can you throw darts at it? Dude, if I kill somebody with a dart, what is that? What is this? Hey, you found a like an elliptical peloton. It's not yeah. though. It's, it's like a. Is the old? Uh, is those, those were those were the old. Can you get on it? I don't. You can't. Oh, it says you can pick it up. I just. Oh, yeah, can it's, I, it's supposed to be like an elliptical. It's not. I don't know what kind of elliptical that is. That's a very confusing elliptical. Why he will put it in front of the wall? That's so boring. Look at this put it bathroom. Like... How much do I weigh? Forty-seven pounds. <laughs> oh, it works. Look, it says forty-seven. <laughs> Agent 47. 47, it's probably kilos, but That's still too late. That's what happens when Alex gets on a thing. It just says, it just says ripped. <laughs> like, it's even giveaway. It just says ripped. You know what? I, don't I like am sorry, people. sir. You're ripped. I'm not, I don't even like these people, so I'm just going to overflow all their sinks. <laughs> hey. Where's this guy? Who's, no, come here. Oh, the Muffin Man. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Shh. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> he 
You know? You know what I'm starting to see? All the guys wear boxers. Nobody wears briefs. That's what you took from that? <laughs> yeah. All I know is I'm the muffin man. Do you want a blueberry? <laughs> and now I have more. And I got stevia for you. <laughs> she said it's in the attic. Is this like another one pulled the ladder from the roof? Why was, yeah, thing? like looking for it, but like, dude. I'm just saying. Now that's a weird elliptical thing. That's a lot. Ooh. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, sorry, you were going to the bathroom. I'm sorry. That's rude of me. <laughs> Should let Did him wash his hands? Did he wash his hands? Oh, it's still, it's still. Oh, he turned off the other one. What a jerk. I'm overflowing the sink, yo. I'm an assassin. Calling it, calling it. <laughs> what are you playing the Oh, there's Stranger Ranger. Go to sleep, Stranger Ranger. Oh no, there's another. How did he even find? How did like he even find this body? No, oh, he's Dude, cheating. Dude, I need man. to be the. I, are you just, I love. Are you just the, stacking him. The Stranger Ranger. <laughs> oh, so oh, there's a kid. There's a kid who's looking for you. He's suspicious. Is that a kid? No, no, just dead body, so it's fine. <laughs> they don't know what's happening. Well, that's not. Okay, I can hide in the closet. But what I need is the microfilm. Uh, and is it was her room or the attic? Upstairs or in the attic? I thought I she, she said, said upstairs. The attic. Hey, hey, Mr. Oh, I got the runs. There's the attic. Uh, see, I told you it was something from the... Oh. From the roof. Now close the door. Okay, we're whispering now. Go to the attic. I'm in the attic, guys. We're gonna find the microfilm. Oh, snap. She's literally got, like, a microfilm. Where's the microfilm? I need to find the microfilm. Dang it, I found the microfilm place, but I didn't find the microfilm. She's like painting terrible paintings. Wow, is that her palette or the paint? <laughs> that, I don't know. Is that a Macintosh? No. <laughs> okay, so now I found the microfilm. You ready? Oh. But, the, but like the microfilm, like it was. I found the microfilm viewer, but not the microfilm. I found a bat. So where do you think this lady? Okay, there's the Wilson's key. So now I can get in and out of the house. Mr. No Wilson. Oh, somebody freaking turned off the thing again. Evidently, flooding the house isn't an option. <laughs> I have learned a couple of skills here and there from playing Hitman 3. Oh! Why are you guys naked? That guy didn't notice that I'm wearing his clothes. It's okay, man. It's okay. You're kind of dumb. All three of you guys are naked. Okay. If I was a microfilm, where would I hide myself? In a laptop. In the laptop. I mean, that laptop's nice. It's like a MacBook. Inside. So there was nothing upstairs? No, there was, there was a place to view the microfilm, but I got to find the microfilm. If I, well, if you were her, well, which one would be her room, right? Because if she found it, maybe it's on her room. I know, room. I like, but there's nothing in the room. On her room? There's in all her? these people who are knocked out, but they're not here anymore. Why were they knocked out so weird? That guy's like investigating the distraction. So it's not, I don't think it's up here. It's gotta be someplace else. I gotta look downstairs for where the microfilm is. By the way, guys, I am an expert. It'll be at the bottom. I think we figured that out, right? Do your next expert hitman player? Yep, pretty much. 
If you guys want to think... learn, if you guys want to play this game as good as me, no problem. You can totally use me as a as a as a lead. You know, as a guy, as a template. Exactly. I think, I think everybody's saying you might have learned too much from Alex. Uh, <laughs> so there, there may need to be, um, I think people are hinting at another Dead by Daylight rematch. Um, oh, but we need them to be in there. Yeah. You know, I, I, I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, only hanging out with Roby. I want to hang out with everybody now. else. I got rat poison now, guys. Ooh, what's in the freezer? Ooh. Oh, shoot, I can hide in the freezer. <laughs> That's a cold killer right there. <laughs> hey, there's another freezer. How many freezers do you Okay, need? look at this. I can poison the coffee glass. Nice. What's the matter, dude? Like Alex that, or Matt's you. giving me my my cues here that uh, got to give a couple of updates before this the stream ends. So um, don't forget if you guys want to hang out with me next week while well, Roby is going to be at the Gaming Awards live, we're going to be hanging out on Discord. So if you want to kind of hang out and chat, uh, definitely join. Yeah. Oh, okay. is that the... I gotta stop this game, or I'm just gonna keep playing and killing people. That's not very nice. <laughs> well, guys, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in, uh, and uh, for Alex looking so fly today, dude. Agent Forty Seven, you. you basically uh, you um, you you uh, you really nailed it today. Um, again, if you guys have questions or if you want to check it out, uh, if you want to see some of the stuff we showed off today on the show, head over to falconnorthwest.com to check out the beautiful frag box. Huge shout out to Falcon Northwest and Kelp for being here on the show and uh, letting us show off that, that awesome piece of tech. And then the Lee and Lee 011 Vision, we have the review for that as well as... Uh, you can check out uh, the live stream of the entire build that also shows the performance for both the 14700 and the 14900K as well. So hopefully you guys learned a lot. What did you guys think of the new format? I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we, we, like I said, we're trying to do a lot more tech focused, showing you more tech and all that sort of stuff with just light news and a little bit more gaming. So I hope you guys enjoyed. People said very good. Um, Thank you for the show. It's been great. Okay, the vision is so pretty. Wow, Roby looks awesome. Thank you. I, I was this PC, but then I transformed back into a human. Anyway, guys, we are back next Friday uh, for the last show before DreamHack. Uh, that's going to be happening uh, coming up on Friday. And then Wednesday, we have a special surprise. So just stay tuned for the Intel channels for information about Wednesday. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for tuning in today. We really appreciate all of you hanging out with us. And we will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.